Artemis 1 spacecraft is now in San Diego just two days after landing off the coast of Baja, California. Well, several hundred of our very own sailors helped with the effort. And ABC 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena is joining us live from the naval base with the next steps in NASA's historic moon mission. Lindsay. Yeah, Kim and Wale, this is just a momentous occasion and so neat that San Diego and the Naval Base got to be a part of NASA's mission. Take a look behind me. You can still see a lot of activity and some of the crew, both with the military and with NASA, that are still doing work on the Artemis One right there. That is it. It is just feet away from us right now. I actually had a chance to get a little bit closer earlier today. You're going to see that in just a minute. But first, I want to just talk about the mission to get it on to the USS Portland to get it safely there and to bring it back here to the naval base. ABC 10 News reporter Sierra Encinas tells us that it didn't happen as originally planned, but the Navy was able to shift so quickly to make it happen. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. The United States is one step closer to putting people on the moon again after the Orion capsule splashed down. Unofficial splashdown time, 1140 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time. Now, that piece of space is docked aboard the USS Portland at Naval Base San Diego. When the orbital splashed down in the uh, ocean, uh, the crew erupted in a cheer. And honestly, it was one of the coolest moments of my 23-year uh, career. Captain John Ryan is the commanding officer of the ship. He says the mission was overwhelmingly successful. But that success didn't happen without a few complications. So we had constant weather reports, and we started noticing that there was a negative trend in weather closer to shore, which is unusual this time of year. And so we worked with the Navy, we uh, worked with Houston, picked a location, and we just made the decision and just went with it. Originally, the capsule was supposed to land off the coast of San Diego. But once the wintry storm was detected, the splashdown location was moved to Baja, California. The decision was made when the USS Portland was already at sea. NASA, I think, made a very uh, early and good decision. We moved uh, south uh, very easily, and we were on station uh, well before we had to be there and uh, everything worked out perfectly. NASA will now conduct research on the capsule before eventually sending people back to the moon. At Naval Base San Diego, Sierra Encinas, ABC 10 News. Now, as I mentioned, we actually got a chance to go on board the USS Portland earlier. I had a chance to get very close to the Artemis One and speak to someone with NASA whose job it is to now get the Artemis One all the way back to Florida. Go ahead and take a listen to how they do that. So once our recovery team got it back here to port, uh, it's now it's me and our team take over to get it back to Kennedy Space Center, actually. So that's what's coming up next. We'll be uh, processing it here at uh, Naval Base San Diego and then taking it back to Florida. So we, we hear and see activity going on behind us right now. What exactly are they doing? Absolutely. So what we do right now is we do a series of safing activities to get it off of the ship and then take it over to a, a pier that we have next door called a mole pier. Um, it's essentially getting the ship safe to bring home. So there is still some chemicals on board that we have to make sure are safe for population. Uh, and we put it in a semi-truck and, and a box that we take back to Kennedy Space Center with. So um, we'll be traveling on the south end of the country, going from sea to sea essentially with it. And it takes us about mm, a week and a half or two weeks to get back home to Florida. Wow. Do you see, I think people might be surprised that that's actually how you get it back to Florida. <laughs> yep. Yeah, exactly. And it is actually the one of the safest ways right now to do it. So um, we work with the DOT and uh, different states and organizations along the way, including the, the sheriffs and the police that escort us the whole way there. So um, it's a quite a quite a journey. So joining us now is commanding officer Captain John Ryan. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. So you had told us earlier that this is probably one of the coolest missions that you have actually been a part of. Talk a little bit about that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in my uh, 23 years, I've done a lot of uh, deployments. I've been all over the world, but uh, support the uh, NASA mission and be part of history uh, was truly incredible. When the uh, capsule uh, landed in the ocean on the 11th, I mean, the entire ship, everybody who was topside cheered. Uh, it was a great moment for NASA and the Navy. Um, you know, we talked about how there was some regrouping. You guys had to kind of deviate from the plan just a little bit, but you did that, I mean, seamlessly. And, and how nice is that to see now it back here and, and that everything turned out the way you wanted it to? I, I think the weather uh, here uh, definitely, uh, we didn't get to uh, capture the uh, 
Orville here in the Southern California operating area. But I think with uh, the information we were getting from NASA and then the worldwide uh, capabilities of the ship to be anywhere we need to be, uh, we are easily able to get down to uh, right off uh, Mexico to record, uh, capture the orbital there. Um, now that it's here, I mean, you've had a chance to go look up close, right? Absolutely. How just, I mean, remarkable is it to see something that, that has been to the moon and back and it is now on your ship? <laughs> I think the, after you're looking at it and understanding uh, the impact of what this mission will have and to think that four astronauts here in a couple of years are going to do that same mission, uh, travel 1.5 million miles, uh, you know, to the moon and back, and then another hopefully lucky Navy captain is going to be able to go out there and recover them, I think is uh, truly uh, inspirational. But such a, a really neat moment in your career. Thank you so much for being with us today and for sharing your experience with Thank us. You. All right, that is going to do it for us right now, but we're going to be back in just about a half an hour with more from the Orion capsule. What a cool look from in there. Thank you so much, Lindsay. That is amazing to see. Yeah, special in his 23-year career. How incredible for him to be able to do that. Yeah.